All right. Fighting a Bowser right away. And Battlefield. And a small battlefield. Lots of nice tilts and patience. The Bowser is like watch line of play.
Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome to the match tonight. Uh, nobody working work study tonight, so it is me, Coach Knudsen, on the mic tonight. Uh, where we have a nice little Varsity Plus matchup, week three between University of Jamestown and Highline Community College. Right now, our opponents are just working through some network connections, um, network connection issues uh, that they're having on their end. So uh, we'll be waiting for another couple of minutes before we get started, uh, but we appreciate your guys' patience and we should have this thing rolling momentarily. So we'll be on a break and just uh, sit tight. We'll be back in a second. All right, and it appears that our opponents are in and ready to roll. So let's get this thing started. Ready? Jimmy's will be starting with that gremlin on the Little Mac. Highland Community College will be starting on Bowser. Again, this is a crew battle format, each team consisting of four players each with three, three stocks two, apiece. Gremlin going to start out against this Bowser here. Obviously, that tough guy is going to be a bit tough to get through if he's going to be rapid jabbing a lot. Haymakers are going to be thrown left and right here. That Gremlin has a very, very aggressive play style. Right off the bat, both players, big swings. That Gremlin looking for his opening here. Side B from Highland Community College. That big side B damage. Dombey is going to come out here. KO punch online for Little Mac. This one hit KO. He's going to have to be super careful about the way he uses it. Does come back to stage, however. Both players respecting each other's options. Pace of the game has slowed down ever so slightly. Now they're going high. That gremlin with a nice haymaker there. John tells him on the ledge. Both players <laughs> swinging left and right. Jimmy's with the advantage. I upbeat back to stage, and that's going to be the first stock taken for University of Jamestown. I like Community College down to just 11 stocks, but obviously. Little Mac, not very good at coming back to stage, so stocks are going to be knotted up at 11 apiece here. Nice little rapid jab to upbeat. Oh, and a big shield break, but a bit of a panic option from Highland Community College, not using that shield break uh, vulnerability there on that Gremlin. He's able to come back and start swinging right away. Both players, <laughs> lots of swings, lots of misses. Both players kind of settle into the match here. Big up, up the smash. A little bit aggressive from that Gremlin. That Gremlin freshman on the squad for the University of Jamestown this year. Still trying to find his footing a little bit in the Varsity Plus. Again, the Varsity Plus divisions are seen as sort of developmental leagues where teams that don't have maybe the top level of talent are able to play. But you can see that that Gremlin, good enough to take another stock there. They have an 11 to 10 lead. But yeah, these developmental leagues meant for some of these new players like Dak Gremlin and maybe one or two of his teammates to start getting their competition uh, experience a little bit, start getting their feet wet with what it's like to compete at this level, and hopefully in the uh, weeks to come. And there's going to be an SD, an unfortunate recovery path taken by Highland Community College there, and Jamestown's going to jump out to a very early 11-9 lead. 
We're going to kick it to an intermission. We're going to do some counter picks, and we'll be back in a second.
And we are back. That gremlin for University of Jamestown hopping into the second match here against a Lucario. Very interesting pick there from Highland Community College. Lucario, not typically thought of as a very uh, top tier character, but does have access to Aura, which is a very, very interesting mechanic in this game, which takes Lucario from maybe one of the bottom 10 spots on the tier list all the way up to a top tier contender. And that gremlin with just a little bit of uh, a miscue there. And both players will set up here. They will taunt and go ahead. All right, so that gremlin with just two stocks remaining. Highland Community College, nine stocks. Bukari out with counters here. That gremlin's gonna have to really be careful about the way that he approaches. Some dash grabs in this situation could be very beneficial. There was a big haymaker to the face there. Lucario does wait ever so slightly. And as Lucario racks up damage here, for those that are unfamiliar, his aura does charge. And what that means is that Lucario, as he takes more percent damage, gains access to higher knockback on his moves, higher damage, and then overall power boost. But typically not thought of as a very great comeback mechanic in this game. Because when you're fighting at high percent all the time, obviously you're the one taking more knockback. And it's very, very hard to come back in this situation. So 114%. Lucario with a lot of aura right now. Uh, and that gremlin is just going to hold that punch. And he's going to take the stock and not this one up from 11 to 8. Uh, the spacing from Dak Gremlin going to rack up a little bit of percent here. Maybe a grab, uh, one jab, trying to test the waters here a little bit. A rapid jab, still access to KO punch. Lucario's going to land here. Another dash grab. Mix-ups from Dak Gremlin. Up B coming in here. 46%. KO punch is going to take the stock. HCC down to just seven stocks now. Lucario trying to find a way to get back into the game here for Highland Community College. A couple of Aura Spheres going to net a little bit of damage. That Gremlin's pressure right now, though, just a little bit too much for them to handle. Dash Grab's not going to connect there. The counter attempt by Highland. Oh, and a big side B, but the perfect DI there from Dak Gremlin. He's going to find his way back down on the stage. Big counter onto the Aura Sphere. That was a very good decision. And the Super Armor is going to take the next stock. And Dak Gremlin, with a clean sweep of those stocks there, going to take this game to 11-6 to six in favor of the Jimmies. We'll go to some more counter picks. And we'll be back in a moment.
And welcome back, everybody. We are hopping into match number three. It will be a Byleth out of the side of Heartland or uh, Highland Community College. My apologies. Uh, the Jimmy's with 11 socks. Highland Community College down to six. That Gremlin will run off uh, one time to begin the match here. And we'll get into this Highland on their third out of four players now. Jamestown still on their first, looking for some great momentum moving forward. This is the first game of the season for the Jimmy's technically. Uh, we had a bye week the first week into uh, a forfeiture over the last uh, the last week. And now finally into uh, some matches. So that Gremlin going to have to be giving this Byleth a little bit of space here. Just going to wait. Don't want to shield that move as it will break you like <laughs> crazy. But uh, Byleth has a lot of really good tools in the kit. Uh, access to a lot of really good um, options with his Nair. Uh, obviously has some very solid options otherwise. And that's going to take a stock off the top for Dat Gremlin, who is just on a roll here. 11 stocks to 5 now for the University of Jamestown. Dat Gremlin, pure aggression off the side of the Jimmies here. Island Community College still trying to find their footing. Still plenty of time to do it, but they need to happen fast. Big forward smash into the side B follow-up. Not quite going to get there for Heart Highland. I keep wanting to say Heartland, so I, I really <laughs> uh, do apologize. Uh, I feel like there's it's uh, it's been a long time to say the least. But anyway, uh, Dak Gromum, big haymaker there for University of Jamestown. 132% now on the Byleth. Nice little dash grab. Good weight on the option there. And the Super Armor is going to take yet another stock for Dak Gremlin. 11 to 4 now in favor of the Jimmies. A couple of big side Bs coming out from Highland Community College here. Nice arrow there. And Highland, first signs of a little bit of momentum here. Hit off stage though. Going for the big down, be punished. Not quite going to do it. Air dodge down, but he's going to come back. Violet recovery, still pretty good. Uh, probably the best tether in the game for the most part. Violet's got a lot of really, really solid options when it comes to coming back to stage, uh, unlike the, the likes of Little Mac here. So, that Gremlin pressuring even further with these stocks. And that KO punch is not quite going to take him off. Great recovery there. And a nice forward smash is not quite going to net the stock. That Gremlin, one big punch away. And the up smash is going to seal the deal yet again for the Jimmies. That Gremlin is just on a roll today. 11 to 3 now in favor of the Jimmies. We'll kick it back to a short break. And we'll be back with uh, Highland Community College's anchor and our fourth game of the set. See you in a minute. And as we transition into our next match here, Highland Community College going to be playing Incineroar. That Gremlin still with two remaining stocks. The Jimmies with 11 on their side. Highland down to just their last three here. He's going to have to put in a lot of work if he wants to bring his team back in. <laughs> Go that Gremlin. Yes, sir. And as they get into the match here, both players will taunt to signify the beginning of the match. That Gremlin looking to do the Fable 12 stock in the crew battle format here. He's got two stocks to do it. Island Community College is Incineroar trying to make sure that that doesn't happen. No. Big up smash from that Gremlin. He's going to respect the option of coming down. Incineroar obviously with that fun mechanic of, of revenge being able to tank a hit and having his next move do extra damage. And this is the first time we've seen uh, a reasonable amount of pressure coming out 
uh, against that gremlin. KO punch online, though. He's going to wait for the option. Does spot dodge it, though. Great, great defensive option. And an air is going to come out for Highland Community College. That gremlin finally down to his last stock. Big forward smash. Gremlin looking to get his team a little bit more momentum moving forward, and that's going to do it. Ten stocks to two now in favor of the Jimmies. Both players appearing to be pretty evenly matched here. Big revenge coming out from Highlands and Cineroar. Fishing for that grab. Sidebeam might come out here. Oh, but the forward smash is going to cancel that out. Like it's Lariat into that Alolan whip. 80% now for that Gremlin. Finds his way back to stage. Nail Punch not going to connect there. And it looks like that Gremlin's time in the spotlight has finally come to a close. Highland Community College with a set, uh, a breath of life into the gameplay here. Long way to go, but a great start for that Incineroar. And we'll be back with some more counter picks as UJ moves into their second player of the set. Back in a second. Okay, a little bit of an audio miscue there for a second, but uh, we are getting back into uh, gameplay here. University of Jamestown, nine stocks and three players remaining. Highland Community College sitting just at two uh, in this best of three series in our first match here. Ready? Up, up. Uh, little bit of a, a miscue there. Uh, we'll be back in a second.
All right, so a little bit of a miscommunication there at the end of that game. Obviously, with, uh, with it being the crew format, if you win a game, you have to go back to the same character that you played previously. Um, you can switch characters in between sets, but for the duration of this set, this Incineroar will be on the battlefield. Big first move there. Up next for the Jimmies here on the King K. Rule will be Ski Walk. Nice little recovery there and a back throw coming out for Ski Walk. Big Cannonball is going to catch the high recovery too. And the DI is just a little bit mixed up there. Highland down to just their last stock out of this competition, but an unfortunate SD there from Ski Walk. Jimmy's up eight to, to one now. Ski Walk trying to find his footing a little bit here. Big Alolan whip coming out from Highland Community College. HCCs and Cineroar trying to lead their team back into the game here. Double Nair is going to come out. The side B option. Revenge is going to get sucked up by the K-Rule. A big revenge there, but a nice tech option. Down air and the back air from Ski Walk. He's got the momentum. This could be the end of the set right here. Big up air coming out from Highland. Going to need a little bit more momentum. That's a huge whip off of the side, though. Now all of a sudden, Jamestown down to just seven stocks. Ski walked down to his very last. Over the top of that cannonball. But a big down smash off the right side. 125% now for Highland Community College. He's gonna tank the up smash. Big whip's gonna come out here. 12% damage, got the kill screen. That moved it 60%. That was absolutely crazy. 154, both players approaching high stock situations here. A little bit of a miscue on the timing there. He walked feeling a little bit of pressure. Big cannonball coming out. Cannonball's gonna go up top. Back air not quite gonna do it, but the super armor from K. Rule, the super armor on the side of Jamestown for both their front two characters here. Proving to be very formidable. And Jamestown will take the first set by a score of seven to zero over Highland Community College. We'll be back with set number two momentarily. We'll set stocks back to 12 and we'll run it back. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in a few minutes.
All righty. And we will be heading on in set number two. On the side of Jamestown, we will have Measley on the Bowser. Island Community College going to be starting out with a Pyra and Mithra. Big damage coming out from Flame Breath from Measley there to start the match. Team Captain for Jamestown on the Bowser. Great crew battle character. Lives very long, does a lot of damage. Very difficult to kill. A lot of really, really solid options online. Obviously with the online latency and the lag uh, experience, it's a bit tough for some smaller characters and other more combo focused characters to kind of find their footing. But Bowser obviously with having so much damage and a big forward air coming out from Measley takes the first stock of the set. Uh, but as I was saying, some of those smaller combo focused characters can struggle a little bit just because you know the timing's a little bit tighter. Um, but Bowser has a lot of really solid options just with some stray hits. Each attack that he does does so much damage. So, you know, where some characters like this Mithra here would need to get, um, you know, win a, a number of interactions to take a stock against Bowser. Bowser really only needs to get three or four big hits in before he's already threatening a stock. And as you can see, his Pyra Mithra at 88%, now 93. Big jab coming out. Side B, though, is going to not quite kill off the top, this Pyra and Mithra. Highland Community College trying to get off to a fast start this set. But Measley and a side B there is going to take him off to <laughs> off the top once again. 12-10 uh, in favor of Jamestown now. Again, this set is best of three. Jamestown currently up one game to none. Footstool attempt there out of that side B from Highland Community College. Not quite going to get there. And you can see that Measley's trying to navigate around these platforms as effectively as he can. Pyro can make a lot of good use. A double down air to an up B. That's a really, really solid option, but... Uh, not quite going to kill Bowser, as we stated before. That heaviness and that high blast zone coming in handy for Measley. 70% now. Both players at kill percent. Big forward air and no jump for Highland Community College. Forward air is going to take him off the side. And the Jimmies will be off to another really, really hot start. And we'll take an early 12-9 to 9 stock lead. We'll be back after a counter pick. All right, and as we transition back in here, Highland Community College going with a Meta Knight. Bit of an unconventional pick when it comes to the online scene, but Meta Knight, obviously a very, very scary, scary character. Uh, had his day in Brawl, uh, but that was a number of years ago. Obviously, in this game, Meta Knight, a little bit worse. Uh, his options don't cover as many, uh, as many good options that other characters can get. Um, but overall, I think Meta Knight's a pretty fun character to play. Uh, in an online setting here, I'm excited to see how Highland Community College responds. Big down B and a nice little phantom hit going in there, but not quite connecting onto Measley. Playing very, very patient to begin this game here on Hollow Bastion for the Jimmies. Big side B coming in. And a big forward smash from Measley is going to net this one 12 to 8 in favor of the Jimmies. Highland Community College probably going to have to start mixing up some approach options here. 
They want to get in on Measley, team captain. Has three years of experience under his belt now. Junior, Kindred, North Dakota. Big flame breath going to come out here, but a nice hit by Highland Community College. Going to get back into stage advantage. Big forward tilt from Measley. Not quite going to net the stock there. Bowser just oozing pressure. Got to be careful of that option there. Nice down air, though. That's going to take a stock for Measley. Now Jamestown up 12 to 7. Tybee coming off the side here. Lots of favorite options, it appears, for this Meta Knight. Meta Knight usually getting a lot of really good benefit off of things like the Rapid Jab and some of the multi-hit moves. But of course, Bowser having access to that uh, Tough Guy ability is able to kind of armor through those moves and kind of uh, make them null and void. Um, big side B coming out there. But a forward smash is going to catch the lag of that down B. It's a pretty laggy move. Easily picking the perfect punish window there. Going to net this one 12-6 in favor of Jamestown. We'll be back after another short counter pick. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to be transitioning now into game number three of set number two. Highland Community College going back to their Byleth. Measley still on for Jimmy's. Score is now 12 stocks to six. All Jimmy's still remaining on the roster for this game. Highland down to just their last two players. Start this off, even stocks, three to three. Big shield coming out there from Measley. He's playing this very patient. Easily got a very defensive play style. Picks his options very carefully. Knows his bread and butter options here. Highland Community College. Spileth coming back to stage. A little bit of a panic air dodge there, but a nice little up B. He's going to find his way back. Big forward air coming out for Bowser. Nice forward air again off the side of the stage. Spileth still going to find a way to come back here. Treating aerials. That forward air is getting a little stale, but does still find the stock off of the side for the Jimmies. Get out of the way of that down B. That's going to break shield. Nice option here for Team Captain Measley. Leading the Jimmies here. Lots of really great momentum. Island Community College finding a way to claw back into the series. Big down B, but it's going to be met with an up smash right under the platform. A little bit of a too, too, too much of a pull underneath the platform there. That side, the down B can stay on top of that platform, but. Uh, I think that's one of the good versati like versatile uses of the move. You know, being able to fall through the platforms can sometimes catch people a little uh, a little bit on the snooze side. You know, that move leads to shield breaks, which leads to a lot of other really solid kill options as well. So Highland doing a good job of trying to even the stocks up here. Easily with a big forward tilt off of the left side. They're going to be able to D the eye this one back. Going to give a lot of space, but unfortunately, Lyleth is going to fall off the side of the stage there. Easily at 98% here. Oh, but Spot dodges that down B. That's a huge, huge momentum swing that Highland were so, so close to getting. Their side B coming out from Easily. 85% already. You can see just how strong Bowser is. Only got in like three or four hits there. Already a kill percentage. 104% now. Bowser with Rage. And unfortunately, Highland's just going to miss the stage there with the tether. Easily's going to bring this one to a score of 12 to 3. Moving on into Highland's last player. We'll be back after a short counter pick.
All right. And we do have a treat for this last player coming out from Highland Community College. We are going to see a Bowser Ditto. Measley loves the Bowser Ditto. It's a real fun matchup. Both players going to be swinging for the fences here. Oh, both side B's not quite connecting for either player. Big up B, followed by another. You'll see a very similar play style for a lot of Bowser players, and a big forward smash is already nodding a stock for Measley. Island down to just two stocks now. It's up throw to up, or uh, forward air conversion there. That forward air has so much range for Bowser. One of the dumbest moves in the game. Just connects on all cylinders. Measley with a big down smash there. He's rocking on all cylinders. Big forward air. Island's Bowser back on stage, trying to pick his option coming up. Nice little upbeat to maybe get a little bit of stage control back. Easily able to approach with the side B there. Good DI from Highland though. But he's not quite going to connect there. Big down B miss and a big forward smash once again for Measley on the cusp of the first ever 12 stock on the side of the University of Jamestown in their history of this game in Smash. Fails to read a tech option there. Island with a nice side B, getting a little bit of momentum back. Measley trying to cap off this wonderful run of his. Falling back here, not quite going to do it. Island with a little bit of momentum of big forward smash there, trying to get through. Nice damage there, though, from Flame Breath, 70% now for Measley. Other side B, Bowser's very heavy, though, won't go off the top right away. Another down air. Coming out, down B coming in from Highland Community College, Measley, and the forward smash there is gonna net the first ever 12 stock for University of Jamestown. GG's to Measley, lots of hard work over the past couple of years, very solid player. Also good games to Highland Community College, good set. Wish them the best of luck moving forward here. UJ is gonna take this series by a score of two to zero, and uh, that's going to be it from us. So we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, just one second here. Just give me one moment before we wrap things up. But once again, we appreciate you guys all for watching. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this first installment of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Team getting their first game here out of the season after having two weeks of a lull of no competition. Great start for the Jimmies as they move forward uh, through the halfway point of the season almost already. So uh, like I said, appreciate you guys for watching. If you guys have a Twitch Prime or would like to donate to the team, you guys can find the links below. Uh, with that being said, we will be back on Saturday with the third regional open for Fortnite. We hope to see you guys there. And we will catch you guys uh, hopefully there on Saturday at 2 p.m. Thanks for watching.